Hello viewers. Welcome to another segment of my series, It's a Learning Curve. Through my series, we have learned a lot about entrepreneurship and how to start a small business. We have discussed different elements and factors that are to be considered when starting a small business. Today, we, it is the time for all of us to learn how to make a successful business pitch. Every entrepreneur has to present his business idea once or multiple times in front of different audience and in front of various investors and venture capitalists. The entrepreneurs are given significantly short time to present themselves and try to convey their business, which is convey their business in front of people. And this has to be appreciating and appealing so that the investor is willing to fund you or to put money in your business. And that's why it is necessary for all of us to make it, keep it in mind that we have to make the most out of this short period of time. So today I'm going to give you a short presentation which includes 12 tips or 12 pointers which every entrepreneur or a small business owner should keep in mind before he is preparing his pitch and before he is planning to face uh, the venture capitalists. So before taking more time, I'll just go ahead and share my presentation. I have gone through a lot of material to try to understand uh, what takes to make a successful business pitch and I have come across these very important pointers. So to start with, don't take a lot of time to convey your idea in front of the uh, investors. Get to the point quickly. Do not ponder around your business idea. Do not keep digging around the bush. Give a brisk overview and make your proposition compelling very quickly and succinctly. Next point is do not have a clutter of slides in your presentation. Do not have a lot of slides. Three to five slides is considered to be the best number of slides for presenting your business idea. This also depends on how much time you're allotted to present your idea. So this can be different for different uh, organizations or different uh, investing groups, but usually it is more uh, appreciating and impressive if you use small number of slides. So three to five slides are on an average the best number of slides. But remember, although you have all the time in the world, don't take it granted and don't go beyond 10 slides. You don't want your, you don't want to lose the attention or the interest of your audience. Establish the need of your business. Tell them what you're trying to solve and why is it is so important and how it is going to impact the general, uh, the general man or the common man or any uh, general public. Say how it is going to affect the entire industry by that idea. Make your statements concise and definite. Show some ramifications, show, show, show some flaws in the existing uh, market uh, in which your product you're trying to launch and tell how your solution is addressing this need. So be very clear about all these points. Using a message map is very important. So not all investors belong to your field. So having a quick message map and simplifying your complex idea helps the person in front to relate to your product even if they don't belong to your field. Try to use some 
visuals or graphics to make your idea um, more relatable. And when you're using these visuals and graphics, support it with different stories or different analytics, statistics, and a lot of examples. All these help convey your message very simply and easily to variety of audience. So make your pitch a multi-level structured pitch. Within the first five seconds, you should be able to very concisely explain your idea in a single sentence. Then take another 30 seconds to explain your plan by just giving some interesting details on it. And now that you have caught their attention in your product, you can broaden your idea for the next three to five minutes depending on uh, depending on uh, how much time limit you are allotted. Always remember, brevity is the key to the success of any business pitch. The most important of all these is state who your competition is. This is a very crucial information for the investors to know. And tell how competitively advantageous you are, how your product is better than the existing competition product. You must also know if there are any new emerging companies in the uh, in your product area so that they could also be potential threat or competition to your business and you should know how you're going to shield or defend yourself and make your product better in comparison to the existing market and also towards the potential entrance it is always Cool to have some kind of catchy taglines, catchy phrases, scintillating quotes or publicity handles to make it sound really interesting. So these are a few examples of how different companies have their own uh, taglines. For an example, other than what I have displayed here, Apple had something said, the lightest computer of the year or of the era and it was a macbook air it was something related to that so if you have something catchy like this it is definitely going to draw attention of a lot of investors and so try to make it interesting and lively by using such sound bits Never forget to introduce your team. Do not talk only about yourself and what you have done for your company, but you have to show that you have a strong foundation. You have a solid team because if you keep talking about yourself, it will derail yourself and your company. So having a team is going to guard you against derailing yourself. Also, if you're showing somebody in your team, make sure that your team members are relevant and of high level and high significance and bring uh, some uh, importance to your product. Also to make it more personalized, include photos of your team members. Always take yes for an answer. So you should know when to stop selling your idea in your pitch. If you keep talking, if you keep going beyond a certain limit, you might lose the investors because you might speak about some ideas that could create concerns and doubts in front of, in the minds of the investors and you might lose a deal. So you should know how to read the signs that will tell you your idea has hit the target. Stop talking and do not continue talking beyond that point. Every investor is going to put his money. That's the most important thing for him. And therefore, 
when he agrees or when he is will shows willingness to uh, put money in your company he is going to want to know what next after he gives you that money you're seeking for so even if you're done with the pitch you should diligently prepare to know what up what your follow up steps will be so you should go prepared for the next steps you also should know what your audience what you want your audience to do for you in the next steps so you have to make it clear for them as to how they will be involved in that uh, uh, in that uh, in those upcoming steps after they uh, put some money in your company so while you are preparing for making a business pitch make sure to learn from others keep your eyes and ears open uh, thanks to internet you have everything online so go ahead and watch how others do to uh, do to make their uh, business pitches so successful and also try to uh, watch individuals with different styles with diverse styles and also there are a lot of pitch contests like recently i came across a pitch content contest from mit go ahead and watch those pitch contests you will know how they interact with the investors what kind of questions the investors ask so they, you will know what you have to be prepared for when you are learning from others so always show the urge and willingness to learn from others and you will also have a chance to learn from the mistakes of others so that you do not include those things and make mistakes in uh, your pitch that would cause blunder for your business at the end very most important point is do not beg for money it is okay to feel nervous or show some anxiety in the beginning but do not show that nervousness or that fear of losing out do not get emotional and try to seek sympathy from the investors when you have faith and confidence in your business idea try to go in as an equal that does not mean that you are showing an arrogant attitude so you be polite but do not be needy and that's where it will show that your business idea really has some potential so these are all the important tips that i tried to share with you today and this i have learned throughout my journey of working with a startup company and i hope it has uh, helped you a little uh, when you are trying to work on your business pitch so thank you for watching this and thank you for watching all my series throughout and keep watching keep supporting and i will come back again with such important informative educational and motivational uh, sessions in my show thank you very much please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thanks